Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a haul slash first impressions on the Kylie Balmain collection, which released probably... I think the beginning of October, I want to say. I got this as a birthday gift to myself, so I ended up getting the whole collection. There's only three things in the collection, so I'm going to be testing them out for you today. The colors are so me. They're so pretty. And I find with a lot of releases that are out currently, all the colors are just stuff that I love. So, you know, um, I will be doing a few more of these, like, first impression videos probably pretty soon. If you guys want to see one on the Carly... Bible collection from Sephora, please let me know. But let's go ahead and test out this Kylie stuff. So this is the box that it came in. I have not opened it. I've literally had it sitting here for about a week now. By the way, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll be doing some giveaways really soon. So make sure you subscribe. So this is what the box looks like. I haven't bought anything from Kylie Cosmetics for a while. I want to say the last thing I got was on sale and it was her high gloss, which I love. So I definitely remember this packaging. So it's all pink now as of this year, I believe. So you, it comes with a little postcard here like all of her stuff does. Alright, so like I said, there's only three things in the collection. So if you wanted to pick it up, it's relatively... Not as expensive as like her holiday launches if you were to buy the whole entire collection or anything like that. Everything is bubble wrapped very securely. I'm hoping that nothing is broken or anything like that. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a lip kit because I have no lipstick on my lips right now. I definitely wanna test this out. So this is the lip kit in Paris and this is what the packaging looks like. So this was created for the Paris Fashion Week, which I think I'm pretty sure it was the beginning of October or the end of September. One of those two. So this is what the packaging looks like. So pretty. And this lip kit is in special packaging as well. So that's the lip liner. And then the lippy. That is really pretty. That's not what I was expecting. I thought this was like more of a brown. I think it's because the lip liner is brown. I was expecting this to be brown, but it's definitely like a nude pink color. So we are going to go ahead and test that in two seconds. I'm just going to show you guys what else is in this collection. So... The Kylie High Gloss in the color Model Behavior. Again, same packaging. It's really pretty. Oh, I don't want to ruin this packaging. By the way, you guys, excuse my nails. I know they look so bad right now. I'm not getting them done till Tuesday, and I can't wait. <laughs> so if you're staring at my nails and you're like, what the hell? That's why. This is the High Gloss. And it's very pretty, very glittery and gorgeous. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice pinky, peachy color, I'm going to say. So last but not least, this also came with an eyeshadow palette. And this is, does it have a specific name? I don't think so. I think it's just called the Mall Mom palette. So it's pretty standard, like all of her other palettes, the same um, actually not all of her other palettes look like, look like this. I find like the Christmas ones are always like the, the longer rectangle ones and then the ones in her regular line are the, just this uh, square packaging. So that's what it looks like. It is cardboard if you guys were wondering. And yeah, colors in here are so pretty and I can't wait to play with them. So this is what they look like. They're kind of in the pastel family. They kind of look very springtime yet very like paris definitely paris if i was to look at this and think of a place it would be paris because it looks like those macaroons for some reason i kind of want macaroons looking at this palette so those are the colors they're really pretty and i'm going to do some product close-ups as well as some pictures and then we are going to get started 
Okay, so now that I have a little bit of inspiration for the eyeshadow look from the gram, of course, I will actually try this out now. I'm going to test out the lip products first. So I did swatch them and I'm not completely sure about the high gloss. It is very, very glittery. So I'm really hoping that it's her consistent, just like smooth formula, but we'll see how that goes. So like with any lip kit that I'm applying, there's an airplane right now, so it's pretty loud. Okay, like with any other lip kit, I always start with a lip moisturizer because it can get kind of drying. So I'm just taking this one from David's Tea. And what I like to do is kind of blot it on the back of my hand. So it takes some of that greasiness away. And it doesn't leave the lip kit like... You know, take 10 years to dry because that's what happens if you put a bunch of chapstick on and then apply a matte lipstick on top. It just doesn't dry after. So make sure you're blotting it off. So I'm going to try the lip products first and then we'll get into the eyeshadow palette. I do have the rest of my face on because I wanted to save time and not make this like a half an hour long video. We're going to try the lip liner first. It is brown and then the lip kit is pink. So... I don't know how this is going to look, but we're going to try it. Her lip liners are so smooth. It's probably one of the smoothest lip liners that I've ever tried. Um, other than ColourPop, ColourPops are pretty good as well. So this color, I'm not completely sure about. I don't like colors like this on me personally, but it's very like brown toned. You know what, maybe with a nude lipstick, this would maybe look nice, but. So we're gonna test it out with this uh, Paris Matte Lip. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that's what the Paris lip kit looks like on me. I'm so glad that the matte lipstick is actually that kind of pinky nude color and not the brown because then I probably wouldn't like it as much as I do. But I do like the contrast in between the dark lip liner and then the lighter lip on top. When I first started putting it on, I was just like, this kind of looks weird. But, you know, after it's all on and everything, it looks really nice. The, uh two colors really complement each other which i wasn't expecting because the lip is more of like a pinky nude and then the lip liner is like straight up brown so like a chocolate brown so yeah that's the combo i really like that so we're going to test the high gloss on top so this is the high gloss in model behavior you guys can get all of these products uh separately you don't have to buy the whole set just FYI, you don't have to get the whole set, you can get them separately. So if you just wanted the high gloss, then you could just get the high gloss, you know? Um, this lip kit doesn't really look, it doesn't really look like a lot of the lip kits that I have from Kylie. A lot of the lip kits that I have from Kylie are actually very dark. So this is a lot different. This is a lot lighter than most of the lip kits that I own from Kylie. So we're going to test out this high gloss now. So that is Paris Lip Kit with the Model Behavior High Gloss. I really do like this color combination a lot. I'm not the hugest fan of wearing a gloss on top of a matte lipstick though. I prefer it if it was straight matte or if you were wearing like a just normal lipstick, you know, just like a classic cream lipstick and then have a gloss on top. I don't know why that's so weird, but I prefer like matte lipstick to be just matte, but yeah, so. That's what it looks like. I'm actually not mad at this lip combo at all. It looks really nice. It's great for every day and it's nothing too loud or too dark. So we are gonna go ahead and test out the eyeshadow palette right now. Okay, so I'm always starting off with an eyeshadow primer. I'm doing the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm 
I'm just gonna use this mirror because I feel like it blocks less of my face and I can just go into the colors more easily. All right, so I'm gonna be doing a white base just because I'm gonna be playing with a lot of colors like the pink and the green and I feel like white works better with that. So I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in the color Milk and this is just gonna be like the main color base that I use, so. Have you guys seen the Kylie Rise and Shine song or like her studio tour video? It was like number two on trending the last time I checked YouTube and her office space is amazing. Okay, so once you have that base on, make sure that it's all even. It doesn't have to be completely blended. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's even on both sides, we're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and start off with main event, which is the blending color of the palette. As you got, like I said earlier, I just excuse my nails because they are a disaster in this video. They're a complete mess, but I wanted to film this because I have nothing to upload tomorrow. So Okay, I'm going to take a fluffier blending brush. So this is the Morphe Jeffree Star JS5, and it's like a really fluffy brush. We're going to take main event and just start kind of above the crease. like this color it's very nice pigmented and there's not a lot of kickback in the pen which I appreciate I've been just using a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows lately and I'm just used to having fallout everywhere like all over my face all over the palette and it's just a hot mess so this is a really nice change that it's not just fallout city so once we have that on again it doesn't have to be completely perfect but that is like your start out, your base, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and take the color over here. It's called Attitude and it's a bubblegum pink, really pretty color. That's a pink. It's kind of almost a pinky lavender shade. It's not like straight up pink. It has definitely a little bit of a purple undertone in it. And then we're going to go ahead and take City of Love, which is that beautiful mint green in the middle. The reason why we applied a white base, because I feel like this color might be a little bit tricky. It's really pretty. So you do have to get your brush really into this color or maybe use a finger because it's that kind of textured type of color that has a lot of like glitter and stuff and a lot of fallout. So just be careful when using this, but you gotta pack your brush for sure. So I just stopped at the halfway point. We're gonna go ahead and take the color right beside it called Night Out. So the top one is more of like a cool tone pink this is more of like a warm tone pink so we're gonna put that right in the middle okay that color I did not like it did not apply how I expected it to so maybe if you want it to work just apply it with your fingers but even when I did swatch it it wasn't the most pigmented shadow so I'm not completely in love with it I did apply a little bit of catwalk which is here at the bottom it's kind of that like rose gold color to try to fix it to put it on top but yeah not my favorite we're gonna add that purple which is the Paris Fashion Week in the right corner there and we're gonna see if that applies well Okay, I'm going to go ahead actually and just blend out the top to make sure there's not a lot of, you know, excess eyeshadow or whatever. So 
that's what it looks like with the purple the purple has fallout galore like there is a ton of fallout all over the palette and all over my face so if you are applying this after your foundation make sure that you try not to do that so or like have um what's it called like translucent powder underneath your eyes to catch the fallout because it's a little crazy so i'm just gonna blend out the top part a little bit i'm gonna maybe add a little bit more of that pink attitude color in the top to just the top also the purple is not as pigmented as i thought it would be i thought it would be like a little bit darker but i think it's because of all the shimmer that's actually in the color that it translates as almost like a lighter tone purple so you're not going to be getting this like really super dark tone color unless you pack it on you know what maybe i should have done that maybe i should have packed it on with a flat brush versus a blending brush but this is the type of brush i always use for my outer v and i never have issues so yeah So I definitely added a little bit more purple to make that show up a little bit more. I want to fix the middle of my eye because I'm just not liking how it looks right now. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow to my lower lash line and some eyeliner and then we're done. This particular palette does not have a highlight color, which is one of my pet peeves in a lot of palettes that don't have highlight colors because it's kind of annoying. You're going to have to use another palette or like a single shadow to highlight your brow bone. So this is definitely missing a highlight color and i wish that purple was more pigmented to be honest with you Okay, so this is the final look with the eyeshadow palette and I will talk about the collection and what I recommend from it as well as my final thoughts on the Kylie Balmont launch. So let's get started with the eyeshadow palette since this is the last thing that I showed you. So what I did like about it is, okay, first of all, the color swatched so nice. That's why I kind of had this like, I don't know, mentality that they would go on so smoothly, but that proves to you that swatches are sometimes not the best way to test out an eyeshadow because they swatched amazing especially like even that pink color up here it was so disappointing when i applied it with my brush so i was not expecting that based on the swatches but like this color especially in the middle so this color impressed me a lot like it performed really great when swatched it wasn't that great green color definitely shows up true to what it looks like in the pan really great paris fashion week actually applied really nicely on my lower lash line but not so nicely on my lid which is so weird because that's where i had my base and my primer i don't really put primer on my lower lash line but that one applied really nicely underneath my eye but not so nice on my outer v which was super weird these two colors they were so disappointing um night out and catwalk they just did not apply it well at all i tried to fix it with my finger and reapply it night out definitely applies a lot better with your finger but it's still not as nice as i was expecting it to be the formula is really nice it almost feels like a cream consistency which is super weird it's just not as pigmented as i thought it would be attitude on the other hand is very nicely pigmented i have that on my inner corner and the other color i tried in here called main event was a really nice transition slash blending shade so is this my favorite kylie palette no but um it is really nice i don't think it's worth the 46 dollars if you were to buy it individually it's a little bit cheaper if you were to buy the whole collection but just by itself i don't think this palette is worth it just based on the colors that i tried today i might have a different opinion when i try out like 
close the show because that one swatched really nicely i feel like if that if i applied that to the center of my lid with my fingers i could create a really nice look i was just expecting so much more i don't know why i know these colors are really light but i was expecting them to be a little bit more intense a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more easy to blend than they were but that's that um this color, yeah, so I'm excited to try out the more neutral shades in this palette, but I definitely decided to just play with color today and try something different for the, you know, the try on portion of this video. So the lip kit. The lip kit is actually really nice. I kind of wish this color came by itself because this is a really, really pretty shade. It's very nice for people that are fair. <laughs> I will say that because it is pretty light. It's a nice nude shade on me. It doesn't wash me out or anything like that. Paired with the lip liner, it's nice, but I wouldn't buy the lip liner separately. Like if this did not come as a set and I could just buy this, I would buy this one. So the lip liner was okay. The high gloss was really nice. It's not gritty like I was expecting it to be because it does have a ton of glitter in here. It has glitter galore so you don't feel any grittiness at all on your lips which is really nice and yeah this color combination for the lips i really like so yeah if i was to pick any single item from this collection to pick up i would definitely suggest the paris lip kit and possibly the high gloss if you are really into lip gloss i would definitely go for this if you are more into lip products, I would definitely go for this. I would skip out on the palette altogether. So those are my thoughts on the Kylie Beaumont collection. If you guys have any questions or if you guys want me to try any of her other cosmetics, let me know. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye, everyone.